Good evening and welcome to BBC Channel Islands. I'm Alison Moss. It's crunch time for Jersey's new hospital as politicians prepare to debate how much to spend on it and where the money's coming from. Our political reporter, Freddie Miller, has the latest. Freddie, it's the eve of a big debate on a very big issue. Indeed, yes, it's another big moment, Alison, in this almost decade-long story. And as we know, controversy has followed this project from the very start. But I'd suggest in recent months we've seen divisions become even further entrenched. You know, on the one hand, you've got people who've absolutely had enough. They just want politicians to get on with it. On the other hand, you've got those who have serious concerns about what's being proposed here, particularly when it comes to that £800 million price tag. And that was demonstrated today by the dozens of people who gathered in Jersey's Royal Square as the rain fell upon them. Our reporter Amar Ibrahim was there. It's our action as citizens which will make the difference. Get out there, give them hell, raise the Bastille. And remember, we want a new hospital. Yeah. Anger, frustration and passion. The overwhelming emotions at this protest against the cost of the proposed new hospital. I want them to stop and think about the amount of money they're wasting. It's our children and our grandchildren who are going to have to pay back the money from the huge, enormous loans they're going to take out. The 804 million... I don't believe stands up at all. What do you make of the argument that that's the amount of money that's needed to give Jersey the hospital it needs? I think it's excessive. I think there's been a lack of uh, political direction and control over the whole um, budget and the, the way the project has continued. The concerns aren't just about money. The location of this new hospital is also a sticking point. It's in the wrong place. If could change the place, that would be fantastic. But obviously, I don't think we're going to. So I live at the top of Tower Road, and at the moment they're saying you can't go up West Mount and turn left down Tower Road, and you can't come up Tower Road and turn right into West Mount. So why build a superhighway? I shan't be able to use it. Do we want to spend £805 million to build it? No! no. The protesters have made clear, in no uncertain terms, how they feel. Now it's up to the state's assembly to decide how much they're going to spend on this new hospital. Amar Ibrahim, BBC Channel Islands News, Jersey. Of course, this will not be the first time Jersey's politicians vote on how to pay for the new hospital. You might remember almost four years ago, they were faced with exactly the same decision, albeit on a different site with a different hospital and a different funding plan. Here's a reminder of what happened. In December 2017, the plan was to build a new hospital next to the existing one on Gloucester Street. The government said it would cost £466 million. Ministers wanted to borrow more than half and take the rest from the rainy day fund. The Treasury Minister at the time warned delays could see the overall cost increase. 30 states members supported the government, but 16 didn't. Amongst them was a deputy who went on to become a senator and Jersey's chief minister. He was concerned about the level of borrowing and he felt a decision on paying for the hospital should be delayed until after it had planning approval. I really was rather suspect it's cart before the horse because if there are any financial implications that come out of that planning inquiry, say take off two storeys off the rather large mass that they're proposing, that could have a financial consequence which we will then have no say whatsoever on if we approve the scheme or if we approve the proposition today. Fast forward almost four years and we have a new site and new plans. And Senator Lafondre's government wants to take out a loan of more than £750 million to pay for a hospital which doesn't yet have planning permission. The next few days will reveal whether this time things might be different. 
Well, we'll have to wait just a little bit longer for clarity because that debate hasn't even started yet. We are expecting to hear the initial arguments once the sitting resumes tomorrow morning at around half past nine. And we'll, of course, keep you updated throughout the day on BBC Radio Jersey and bring you an update tomorrow evening here on the BBC Channel Islands News. As for which way it's likely to go, well, I suspect we'll find out more once that debate does begin. However, we do know that the five elected members of Reform Jersey will all be supporting the scrutiny amendment calling to limit the top budget to £550 million. Now, we know ministers will argue that could bring the project grinding to a halt. I would suggest that even if the Assembly does back the government this week, it's unlikely to be the final hurdle put in their way. Freddie, thank you.